Hello guys, welcome to the video. Uh, today I'm going to be modelling the Dyson hairdryer that I sketched in the previous video. I think it's a pretty cool product, so I wanted to 3D model it as well. It doesn't look like there's, there's many difficult forms to create for this product, but there's quite a few details in there like buttons, holes for the handle, and uh, the seam that joins the handle to the head. In this first part of the video, I'm just making some basic shapes and trying to get the correct form based on a few reference images. I didn't go into too much detail for this model. I didn't really model any internal components or anything like that. So I just worked from these reference images that I've got, uh, which just showed a few orthographic views. So again, just like the sketching video, it's it's kind of more like a like a, a speed modeling video, where I'm just showing the overall process rather than an in-depth tutorial.
So joining the handle to the head um, caused me a few problems, but I really wanted to get that, that join in there. So I think that's quite an important part of the, how the design looks. So really, I, I could have done this a lot better, but I, I chose a way to do it and I stuck with it. And in the end, it turned out all right. What I should have done is make sure that the the head part and the handle had the, more of the same amount of, of vertices. So when I did the boolean, it, it didn't quite match up. So what that created was, I, I basically had to do loads and loads of, of manual uh, joining, joining vertices, joining edges, and, uh, and fixing that seam. I'm showing the whole video of me basically trying to work out how to do it as I go along. If anyone wants to see a tutorial, then I'm sure I could put one together. So now that I'm happy with the model, I'm just going to take this and do a quick render. So I've set up a few lights and a camera, and I'll just lay this out in a, in a similar way to what I did in the sketch video. And again, I've not done any of the internal components. I've not even looked at any reference images of the internal components, so I know that what I'm doing here is wrong. But uh, it's, it's just a, a visual representation of the design, really. It's nothing too detailed. So I've set up a few basic materials 
and a basic rendering scene. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the holes in the handle with a texture map. So I know that's not how it is on the actual design, but um, I think for for a quick render experiment, that's that's maybe a good way to do it. I added a bit of a plastic texture to the plastic material just to make it stand out a little bit just to add some variation So I tweaked the lighting a bit, added some depth of field and uh, changed the rotation slightly. So I decided to add a little bit of a backdrop The buttons are metallic and these weren't showing up against the backdrop so I just created a invisible plane uh, which is something you can do in Blender and this was uh, creating a, a reflection in the buttons. So here's the final image. I'm quite happy with the way that the model turned out. Let's do a quick comparison to compare the sketch from the previous video to the 3D render. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this kind of content, just give me a subscribe. And there's gonna be more design content coming in the future. Cheers and see you in the next one.